Our platform allows you to associate created contacts with your various projects and activities occurring within other applications. By expanding your business contact records, you can review any current deals, important documents, or outstanding projects associated with a specific client. To access a business contact record, simply click on a name. You can also click on the blue icon that appears. Within the preview, click View Record. If you have experience with creating individual contacts, this business contact record screen should look very familiar. Business contact records function the same as people contact records with a few minor changes. The first portion of this page includes the business contact name, the affiliated website, and various actions you can take regarding this client. You can edit the business name and website at any time by clicking this icon. Be sure to save your changes. To add or edit a profile picture, select the space above the business name. You can either edit or remove the image. By clicking edit, you can also upload a new image. You can then crop your image as desired. Be sure to save. Note that our system is now linked up with Gravatar. If you incorporate a contact from another CRM that utilizes Gravatar, their image will now appear next to the business name automatically. Beneath your contact name, you will notice five actions you can take regarding this business contact. The note action allows you to quickly create a note about this client for yourself and your team. A text editor will appear in the bottom right corner of the screen. Here, you can highlight key messages for your team members to view. You can also quickly add important attachments to your notes by clicking the paperclip icon on the far left. When you're satisfied, click Save Note. All of your saved notes will appear underneath the Notes tab. Users will be able to comment on any notes within the contact record. You can also pin a specific note by selecting the pin icon. For all of these actions, you can also begin them by clicking create at the top of the page. The email action automatically launches an email editor with the to and from fields auto populated with the contacts email and your email respectively. You can add texts and attachments as well as CC and BCC additional contacts if necessary by using the options included. When you're satisfied, click send email. All of your sent emails will appear underneath the activity tab. The SMS action functions similarly to the email action and allows you to send an SMS set message to the associated phone number. However, you must purchase a phone number subscription from our fulfillment store. If you do not have a subscription, follow the instructions that appear when you click the action. Note that this contact must also have a phone number on file to send an SMS message. Reminder allows you to set a custom reminder regarding this contact.
you can select up to three types of reminders, call, email, and to do. You can then select the date and time for this reminder to take place. Finally, you can assign this to one of your team members by utilizing the drop-down under Assign To. When you're happy with your reminder, click Save Reminder. All of your reminders will appear underneath the Reminders tab. You can once again pin any reminders by clicking this icon. Finally, you can log interactions with this business by clicking the last button on the list. A menu will appear allowing you to log three types of interactions, calls, emails, and meetings. Each will create a new pop-up menu that differs slightly depending on the type of interaction. Each will allow you to select the team member that attempted to make contact as well as the time and date it took place. You can then add any notes regarding the interaction. When you're satisfied, click Log. All of your logs will appear underneath the Logs tab. Beneath the list of actions, you will notice additional information categories. Previously entered information such as name, phone number, and website will automatically populate here. You can also see exactly when this business became a customer or if they have yet to make a purchase. You may feel that this About section is either missing key information or would be better organized without certain values. Scroll down further until you find the Manage Properties button in blue text. This link causes a new menu to appear containing all of your properties. You will also have the options to add these properties to view, remove from view, or duplicate them. You can also reorganize listed properties by using the column on the left. Simply drag and drop the boxes in any order you would like. You can also delete a property from view by clicking on the X. Finally, you can create brand new properties of your own by clicking on the New Property button. Here, you will need to name your value and select one of the types. We have a separate help article for this process which you can find in the description below. Be sure to click Create. When you're satisfied with managing your properties, always be sure to click Save in the top right corner. On the right side of the screen, you will find Associated People. This is the method we use to connect each contact with a business for future projects and communications. You can also complete this process the other way by starting with the person contact record and associating the business contact. Due to how important this process is, 
We created another separate help article that details the entire process, which you can find in the description below. You will be able to review when associated parties are added underneath the Activity tab. In Attachments, you can house all of your attachments that you have associated with this contact. You can upload new files by clicking on the plus icon on the right. A menu will pop up allowing you to drag and drop files into the field. You can also click on the field directly to open your file explorer. When you're finished, click Done. Any uploaded files will appear under this attachment section. Similar to people associations, you can associate a deal with the client directly on their contact record. You'll be able to review key information about the deal as well as learn when the deal was added for this contact underneath the Activity tab. If you want to add a deal, simply click this plus icon. Under Contact Owner, you can view and manage the contact owner within the appropriately named section. The owner is the person that is the primary assignee to this contact. This person is responsible for managing all activity related to this record. Be aware that a user must have the appropriate permissions to change the owner of a contact. You can view when a contact owner is added or changed within the Activity tab. You can also now add followers to any contact record by using this section on the right. Simply click the plus icon to add a new follower. Then use the drop down to select a person from your list of users. After you select the user, click add. All of your followers will appear here on this side of the page. The Tags section allows you to create terms and phrases that you can use as qualifiers for this contact. By using Tags, you can search by that term or phrase to quickly locate any records that are relevant to that designated tag. To create a tag, click on the plus icon. You can select from a list of existing tags or click the plus icon again to add a new one. Click Create when you're satisfied. Then click Add. The Insta Reports section houses all of the Insta Reports that are currently created for this business contact. If you have a report present in this section, you can review the report by clicking on the button there. If you click this plus icon, you will automatically be taken to the Insta Reports app so that you can build a report for this specific contact record. If you're unfamiliar with the Insta Reports application, Follow the link in the description below. Similar to the above, the InstaSites section contains all of your InstaSites for this contact. By clicking one of the InstaSites, you will automatically be taken to the preview. If you wish to build an Insta site for this contact, you can click on the plus button. This will automatically take you to the Insta Sites app.
This effectively covers everything you need to know about a business contact record. Be aware that you can make browsing your activity feed in the center of the page easier by using all of the tabs at the top of the page. You can also quickly filter your activities by using the activity type dropdown.